today's episode we got a few things that I need to get done on my car. Right now we're heading to my house so I can get the car lifted up on stands. A few things I need to do. I have a new tow hook mount to install. Uh, I redesigned it. Uh, I went with a bigger thread. Other thing I want to do is I want to adjust the rear sway bar. Right now it's kind of in the neutral spot with the adjustment so I really want to move it up into the stip so I can get a feel for it. Another idea of mine is to hook up some intercooler water spray. It's going to have to be a DIY. Rally arts don't come with intercooler spray like some Evos do. Alright guys, I just finished eating. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to be doing today. This is for the DIY intercooler spray I'm going to do. So these are some misting nozzles. I'm not sure uh, normally what they'd be used for, but maybe irrigation I guess, but they should do the job nicely. Probably going to maybe three for the intercooler. And then one for the SST cooler. See what we do. Here's some line, insulated line. I'm hoping that the, the washer fluid reservoir is what I'm gonna tee off of. Uses a quarter inch line or a six mil line uh, to make this all work. Well, that's one thing. Another thing is new brake pads. Get Bought new brake pads for the front. Um, I don't like the ones that came with the uh, came with the brakes. So these are for the Cadillac CTSV 2006 model. Another thing is the tow hook mount. So this, here I'll bring it onto light so you guys can see. So this I completely made myself. The tow hook itself is powder coated by uh, bright side. Nice big nut on there. So before this was a 14 mil thread. Now it's a 20 mil thread. Another thing I have to fix is the fender here. This is sticking out really badly. And it's actually damaging the tire. As you can see when I'm going over bumps and stuff. So to fix that problem, I have a heat gun here. Same one we used uh, for our vinyl install. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and heat it up and I'm gonna try and bend it in um, so it'll stop rubbing up against the tire. It's only happening on the passenger side. The driver's side is fine. So 
Not sure what's going on there. All right, so I got to get the car lifted up on stands and put you guys down so we can do a time lapse of that. Look who decided to show up. Gang shit. I got you a smoothie. Ooh, damn boy. Here you go. Yo, my best friend coming in clutch. That's why he's my best friend. I was drinking coffee, but you know. That's better. It is better. What, what are you doing now? Oh, you're gonna change the drink Yeah. Mm -hmm. guys so the GoPro ended up dying and I tried to record it on my phone but the files got corrupted in the process of moving it to my computer so rip and I'm recording this about a week later I'll show you everything that I got done on the car so I ended up fixing the uh, the fender well here where it was rubbing before I, I pushed that in so now it shouldn't be cutting into the tire anymore I also I changed out the front brake pads on the Brembos and you'll notice that there are new wheels on the car. So these are the the wheels I picked up in Montreal, the MRBBS wheels. And these I got the Firestone Firehawks transferred over to these. The Advan TC3s, they'll be going to Mike's girlfriend's car because she just bought a new car. So she's excited to get those. I ended up getting the intercooler water spray finished up. So there's four nozzles here and there's two on the SST cooler. I'll put the video in right here of that working. So yeah, the system works really well. Um, I'm, I'm eager to try it out at the track to see if it affects the IATs or not. Other thing is, got that tow hook mounted. The beefier 20 mil thread. Hopefully won't have to use it, but you know, anything can happen. Track day is scheduled for Friday next week. Today's Saturday, so next week Friday, we'll be out at the track and I'll be sure to record that. Excited to get some more seat time in. Today, I just uh, removed these spacers that were in there. What a pita it was to change out those studs. I had to change one before, uh, a couple years back when it broke. I tried to use a breaker bar on the lug nuts after winter and it just snapped right away. So I learned my lesson. I only use an impact on my winters now when I'm taking them off. But yeah, all studs on this side and on the driver's side changed. And now it, the fitment is very, very good. I like it the way it is. A little bit of poke, nice and aggressive. Still clears the BBK. So yeah, very happy with the overall turnout of all the work I've done so far. Still getting that squeaking noise from the from the back wheel. I'm pretty sure the caliper is just foobar. Probably gonna end up ordering a replacement and uh, getting that fixed is a better shot of the caliper. Still performs okay. Pretty sure that I damaged it a couple years back when I actually had to take it to work and I heated it up with a settling torch. So one of the slide bolts were seized in there. Yeah, maybe it's warped now or something, but most likely I'm gonna end up changing to the Evo X rears once I find a set I can get my hands on. But yeah, other than that, she's mint. Another thing I forgot to add, I ended up 
loading another tune onto the car. Nick, he ended up finishing up another tune for me after I sent him all those logs. So I tunes on the car and he did some changes with the SST tables this time. So now the car, the clutch grabs a lot harder during the shifts. So I really like the feel of it. And I don't think he touched power just yet. We're still sitting at 27 PSI, but that's going to change very soon. I'm hoping we can at least make 30 PSI and maybe make about, I don't know, 325 to the wheels is my, kind of my ballpark. I really like the power the way it is right now. And I'm probably gonna end up doing fueling next is on my list. And that should get us up to 400, which would be really nice. But yeah, it's still my daily, so I'm not really expecting for uh, for crazy power at the moment. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the content, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.